Andrew, thank you very much. A safety alert as homes and businesses continue to recover from the cold weather weeks ago. A local restoration company is still playing catch up and working overtime. All Clean USA says it's still receiving calls for help. Our Ty Lisa Hampton live in Bryant this evening, where the company is focusing tonight at least on helping a nonprofit organization. Ty Lisa. Yeah, Kevin, All Clean USA says they are still receiving calls at this point in the hundreds from people across Arkansas in need of their services, even though it's been weeks since those temperatures dropped. They tell me many people are experiencing their floors being ruined after their pipes busted. And this facility that you can see behind me is just one of many they're helping fix. With a few scrapes and pools. All Clean USA has been doing this type of work since the temperature dropped weeks ago. People were not prepared and, you know, pipes bust and then, you know, cause a lot of damage. Danny Joe Crawford says hundreds have called for help. <laughs> it's well over 300. Not seeing demand like this in years. The last time that we had an event was almost two years ago when we had an ice storm. This job at Arkansas Early Learning is just one name on the long list of those in need. We had three classrooms and within those classrooms, those pipes burst and then it caused a flood. Jenny Smith says it was shocking to staff. The pipes were double insulated. Smith says the program has educated many kids for free and despite everything. They're not stopping those services. Speech therapy or occupational therapy, the therapists are coming to their homes or they are going to their clinics. Um, and then our teachers are still in communication with the kids. Crawford says they're hoping to be done at this site soon. We think that our part of it will be done in less than a week. Going to the next stop on the list. We're a 24 hour, seven day a week company. With various equipment on hand. We've got hundreds and hundreds of air movers, dehumidifiers, and the staff that are ready to go. Now Crawford says because of the increase in cases, they were asking customers to be patient on the wait time, but they did say that they are determined to help as many people as they can. Reporting in Bryant, I'm Talisa Hampton, back to you.